What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. And I hope you're having a wonderful day because this is going to be a great day. It's Double Dip Duo Day, baby. Double Dip Duo Reviews. We're going to get all up in it. Thank you for showing up and showing the love. And as usual, if you are new to this channel, come on in, baby. Hit the like and subscribe. We love to have you as a subscriber, as a family member, and as just a general friend. Whatever we can do to make your day better, let us know, baby. That's what Fat Boy Fragrance is all about. Showing the love, because if you show the love, the love will always come back. And for the haters keep on hating, I'll keep on loving. All right, baby, let's not mess around. Let's get all up in this double dip after the break. You know how we do it. No edits, no do-overs. All I need is one take, baby, and one take, and I get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews Double Dip Do A Style starts now. We are back, and today the two fragrances that we will be discussing are Banana Cream Pie Cocktail Baby and Vanilla Cake Whiskey. All right, so these are two fragrances that will be considered Grammonds, highly requested for me to review. So let's go ahead and get up in them. Double dip style. If you haven't seen my double dip, we'll start with one, we'll do the second. That's how we do it. Let's go. I've got the notes from all these in my phone. Ready to go, and we'll start off first with, uh, let's start with uh, Vanilla Cake Whiskey. All right, so this one right here. The opening on this bad boy starts off like this. We have uh, Macallion Single Malt Whiskey. You got me there. I love me some malt whiskey in my, in my fragrances, no doubt. Butterscotch, Caramel, Vanilla Cake, Milky Tones, Tonka Bean, and Warm Amber. This fragrance does have a very close similarity to City Rhythms, New Orleans, Jazz and Booze. If you like that kind of style of fragrance, this is what you're gonna get with this one. This one is heavy on the booze and light on the cake, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and put it in the skin, put it in the air, and see what we get, baby. Whew, man, this thing's stout. I mean, stout. All right. There's a good look at the bottle again. Vanilla Cake Whiskey from Dua. Really liking these new tops. They stay on there better. They have their brand on top. I'm really digging the new tops, Dua. I do like those a lot. All right, so there's a good look at the bottle. You know the notes. Now let's see how good this fragrance is. I've worn it, I got my full feelings on it. Damn. It's a beautiful, nice opening when it comes to the whiskiness of it. It is, it is boozy as all get out. It is definitely boozy. But it's got this nice little sweet caramel note that helps out it. I do like the fact that it, it does stay boozy the whole time, the whole fragrance, which I can appreciate. I do like, I do not like when Gromans kind of go all sweet and then turn into a cake and forget about the booze part. I love the fact that this booze, the boozy part of this fragrance stays around all the whole time of the fragrance is around. The whole time it lasts, it's holding on to that quality of that malt whiskey note in there that's really nice. I like the vanilla in there too. It's subtle, but it's nice. I would say this fragrance, if you're looking for something, like I said, it's like, you know, kind of like a, it's almost like if you've ever had rum cake that's really drenched in rum, that's the kind of vibe you get. You have to be really into a, a, a gourmand just kind of soaked through whiskey kind of fragrance. Is this leans more towards gourmand or more towards like say winter fragrance? I would say this one's probably not as gourmand as you would think it would be. Because I could see this being an everyday wear for somebody in the winter, no doubt. Very inviting, not off-putting at all. Vanilla cake whiskey is what it is. It's a vanilla cake drenched in whiskey where the whiskey stays prominent throughout the whole fragrance and the whiskey note is done superiorly, super, superbulous, superior, however you want to say it, done really well. So let's see if this one gets my full seal approval or not and we'll get out of here. Opening, first uh, person when I first smell it, 
Not bad. I would give it probably about, you know, almost a half a check. I'm just not a huge fan of the opening. As much as I am as the dry down. Still nice though. Half a check. Performance, solid, not great. Thought it'd be better. But <laughs> I'll take six hours if I can get out of this one. Um, I've heard people get longer, but that's all I was able to get out wearing it. Six hours. Not bad. So I'll still give it a full check for that. Does the wifey like it? Third box. Ah, she doesn't really care for it. I don't blame her. This was tough. It's a boozy kind of gourmandous fragrance. This isn't going to be something that the women are going to go crazy over in the opening. They might appreciate the dry down more where it gets still is very boozy, but it lightens up just enough where the vanilla and the cake start to shine a little bit, but it's still not to me a crowd pleaser. I'm going to give it a half a check for that because I can't see people find this appealing, mainly guys. But as far as y'all, you know, girls, they might not find this one as appealing. So half a check. Uh, finally, how much do I recommend it? <sighs> I like it. I don't love it. It gets about a 70% approval from me. You can buy it, but I think you should sample this one before you buy it. Make sure it's going to be your cup of tea. Because the boozy note is done really well, but it is prominent without this fragrance. You got to be into a boozy, sweet fragrance. And I ain't talking like Angel Share Sweet. I'm talking like really sharp really kind of um, a dry kind of uh, 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 a sweetness to it and it, it's, it's not even it's just not the same kind of sweetness you expect it, it, from a whiskey a whiskey is just a way different because sometimes if, if it's blended with certain things the vanilla I wish it was just a little bit stronger I think it would help but for 70% it's not bad still a sample fragrance before you buy and that is vanilla cake whiskey <laughs> Decent, I, if you can get better in six hours than I did, then maybe this could be a higher rated one, but for me, all I got was six hours. Yeah, it's already starting to dissipate off my hand already. All right, next one up is Banana Cream Pie Cocktail. Now, I love the note of banana. It's one of my favorite notes for a kind of gourmand style fragrance. This one right here is loaded with banana. Let's pull up the notes and see what we got. And I would maybe one day do a kind of like a ranking of all the banana ones and do an arsenal, which is several of them, a bunch. So we have banana, banana milk, vanilla cream, gin, and vanilla wafers. So this is going to be like a banana pudding style fragrance. <laughs> this is what it reminds me of, but a, a drunk version of it with that gin in there. The gin is really neat the way this one bumps off with this fragrance. And I'm, I'm going to be glad to share this one with you. I think this was the biggest surprise to me after the whole haul. How good this one really was. Let's put it in the skin, put it in the air, and I'll give you my full review on it. Nice. All right, baby. Yeah, see, I think this one is, 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 a, is a super sleeper hit here. And guys, barely anybody sampled this thing. Look at that. It is full. Be prepared to understand that the banana is not the star of this fragrance. It's there. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It puts a smile on my face. This one, I would, I would, <laughs> this one makes me smile. And these are the reasons why I love Dua, because nobody's doing this kind of stuff. I'm sorry. They're doing clones, they're doing blends, they're making their fragrances, but nobody's making stuff like this. This is extremely wearable, extremely nice, nice to smell. And I gotta say, the gin in here gives off a vibe that it's almost like a floral citrus vibe I'm getting. So I would consider this like a floral citrus, banana, vanilla, crack, you know, vanilla wafer, vibe it's just the combination of it works it's just beautiful to where I would wear this not as a gourmand but as an everyday fragrance for like say spring early spring fall and winter I think it fits the mode easy god it is just beautiful the milk is very creamy it's very rich the vanilla wafers I really could just smell that here and that gin just gives off this beautiful kind of citrus, you know, ar aromatic kind of floral vibe that I love. 
And as this one dries down, the banana starts to amp up. It gets more banana. It's crazy how it's the opposite of most banana fragrances. You get a lot of banana in the opening and it dissipates. This banana comes on towards the end and it just, it's like just saying, here you go. Take this gorgeous smell of banana. Let's put it back into the mix and tell me what you think. And I love the way this one works. This one really shocked me how good it was. And people around me really were impressed with this one, including my wife. All right, so let's see if banana cut is a banana cream pie cocktail gets my full seal approval or not. And we'll get out of here on this double dip duo review day. All right, so uh, first impressions, absolute check the box. I absolutely love this fragrance. 100% in the air, it smells amazing. Full check. Performance, another steady solid six or seven. I'll take it, give it a, you know. But this one, I wasn't expecting more than that. I can live with that on my clothes. It lasts a little bit longer, so it gets a full check on that for me too. I know I said six hours on, on, on whiskey, but whiskey could have done better, and it should have done better. This one, I wasn't expecting that kind of performance with that one. All right, so two check boxes so far. Does the wifey like it? She said she actually loved this one. And she's not, she doesn't really see the big deal about banana, but she got this one. And I had some compliments flowing on this one at work. It was like an immediate, like, bam. Man, you smell good today. What are you wearing? It smells great. It smells nice. Somebody said I smelled like a fresh cut banana. With this, you know, they, they're like banana pudding is what they said. You smell like a bowl of banana pudding. I want to eat you. I mean, it don't get no better than that, right? <laughs> That's how you justify buying these fragrances when you have a great day like that. Three compliments in one day, and one person wanted to eat me. So, <laughs> take everyone's what's worth. Okay. All right. So, check the box on that one. Now, finally, how much do I recommend it? Well, after all that, you know it's got to get my full 100% seal of approval. I might say this is the best one of the bunch when it comes to gourmands with banana notes in them. It might be. All right. That's it. This is, a, this is a full seal of approval. This one's about 70% seal of approval. Still worth sampling. This one you just go buy and buy right now, no problem. All right, baby, that's all the time I got for this double dip duo review. Have yourself a wonderful day. Y'all stay safe and y'all stay well. And if you smell good and you feel good, then it's gonna be all good, baby. Fat Boy Fergus Reviews is out.